the story of how will humans fly to the moon and build there a base by 2030. Everybody who has ever lived has looked to the moon and dreamed of what it might be like up there, and within this decade, humans will be living there just like it's another country. All of you know the Apollo program. Starting with Apollo 11 in 1969, ends with Apollo 17 in 1972. From this date, we have never been to the moon again for more than 50 years. This will be soon the past. The first Artemis mission has already been sent to the moon and back. The second Artemis mission with a crew of four people will launch in November 2024. The rocket will orbit the moon and come back home. The Artemis 3 will finally take humans back to land on the lunar surface in 2025. If everything goes well with Artemis 3, we would be able to send missions every single year to continue research on the moon. NASA is making the biggest rocket ever made for this, and another rocket called Orion should get us safely to the moon. So now we have astronauts on the moon. How to get them back to Earth? Well, this is where the Gateway program comes in. The Gateway will be the first space station orbiting the moon and will act similarly to the International Space Station. This will allow rockets to dock, drop the crew off, and come back. Nearly all space companies are getting involved in this. NASA has partnered with SpaceX and other companies to make sure this thing will be built in time. Now, when astronauts are on the gateway orbiting the moon, what happens next? The moon taxi will drop you off to the surface before heading back up. With all this, we can put people on the moon and back easily, but where they're going to stay on the moon? NASA will build a moon base. This futuristic lunar cabin with a rover for astronauts and a mobile home. The base camp will be on the south pole of the moon. Why? Because we have never been there, and there is a pretty big chance of finding ice there. Also, there should be a constant light near the South Pole. This is going to be some sort of test for us. If we are capable of making a fully active base on the Moon, then we can focus on our stay on the planet Mars. The thing why is NASA doing all this is pretty simple. Yes, we have been to the Moon 50 years ago and did a lot of things there, but this was only the beginning. NASA wants to deep even deeper to the surface and explore the Moon properly. This is why the Moon base will be built by 2030. Maybe you will have the opportunity to visit the moon one day, who knows? This is what NASA Associate Administrator Kathy Luters wrote in a statement, quote, With more demand for access to the moon, we are developing the technologies to achieve an unprecedented human and robotic presence 2,400,000 miles from home. Our experience on the moon this decade will prepare us for an even greater adventure in the universe, human exploration of Mars. So you will maybe be able to see Mars in your lifetime if you're lucky. Thank you for watching and be ready for another interesting videos. See you later.